Deadline here. We've got an update on the relay tracker. We've updated it to 2.0 and it now works with the VicRail. Sagtron has tested out the relay tracker with a VicRail and reported back that it was outputting inverted values. He also sent us a video, so check it out. All right, here's a demo of your relay tracker using the uh, Vic Relay. This is a replica of the Hamdick Vic Relay, or the Vic Rel. This is by Dorktronic. I think it's the same exact one. So actually the Vic Rel works in reverse with your program. So if I hit one, it lights up, turns it off. And then, um, so as you see here, if I hit start, notice when I, when I go to the line with the highlighted dots, that they turn off. So maybe you can write a version that when the, when the lights are on, this turns on. So it's like reversed. I guess this works backwards then with the uh, the relays you use in your program. Um, it'd be great if you can uh, write a VicRel uh, version of, of uh, the relay tracker made for the VicRel. So like when these are turned on, those turn on. So then we updated the relay tracker to work properly with the VicRel and to show only six outputs on the screen to work with. So he sent us a video of after the update, and here it is. So check it out. Dude, thank you so much for doing the quick update. Check it out. Awesome. So cool. Thank you, man. And actually, thank you, because you're the one that tested it with the VicRail, and we didn't have a VicRail to test it with, so. Hope your demo of the Relay Tracker at the Commodore Retro Expo in Las Vegas goes well. I sure would like to go myself, but can't afford it. Alright, well, that about wraps it up for this video. We're working on a bigger demo video of the Relay Tracker with some things attached to it, and all that kind of jazz so stay tuned you can download the relay tracker from csdb or the github repo until next time this is deadline for cities in